Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 136. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. So, um, apparently, Mr. Beast has a new video that's coming out in... Basically, you know how Mr. Beast does this? Hello me in five years, hello me in two years, whatnot. He, but apparently he recorded, um, I saw this TikTok, um, and apparently he's recorded a 10 year one, like 10 years, well, it, it'd be about eight years ago now, I think, but in 2020, I, I can't remember whether it was 2024 or 2025, he's basically going to be releasing this video, it's, it's like auto scheduled to release. And, um, apparently his goal in that video was to hit a million subs. Like, he set himself a goal that in 10 years he'd hit a million. Which is an awesome goal to hit, to be fair. But... He went on to say, like, collectively across all his channels, he's got, like, 300 million subs. Which, that's kind of mind-blowing. When you think about it. Oh, oh God. There's a bird and a half. Yo, Mr. B, send me a couple thousand of subs. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, the YouTube videos at the moment are doing okay. Um, the views have been picking up sort of later on in the video's lifetime, like two weeks after. Um, it would be nice to see a bit more traffic towards the YouTube videos. Um, but we do have to rely on viewers to thingy. <laughs> Mate, 10 years ago, you'd be happy if you had a thousand. Now, a, th a thousand is apparently, uh, wow, is apparently easy to get. No, it's not. Fucking hell, that's quick. Holy shit. Holy shit, motherfucker. There's too much kids watching sketchy channels. I mean, to be fair, it's not even sketchy, it's just cringe. Like, the amount of dumb and stupid YouTube channels out there is just unreal. Cotto, welcome back. Yeah, I mean, kids shouldn't be watching YouTube at all. There shouldn't be an YouTube is a platform that is designed for 13 plus. So anyone aiming any videos for anyone younger than that age? <laughs> like, I understand that there's YouTube kids and stuff like that, but there's literally laws that state anyone under the age of 13 is not allowed to have an account. Actually, the law is that companies aren't allowed to track data of under 13s, but that basically also can be flipped around to say 13-year-olds and below, or below 13-year-olds, 
aren't allowed accounts. That's why on Twitch, there's a minimum age of 13. Pretty much every platform, to make an account, there's a minimum age of 13. Anyone comes in my stream and is like, oh, I'm under this age. Instant ban. Because it's against terms of service. It's against the law, pretty much. Well, it's against the law in America, but pretty much you're on American platforms. <laughs> That's a brilliant username. Oh no, looks like Kodo's gonna get banned. Nice. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube, just in general, should not be accessed by anyone under the age of 13. Sure, it might lose us some revenue. I don't really have much revenue to lose, to be fair, but... Oh, I'm not... I, d I don't think anyone under the age of 13 should have access to YouTube. I don't think anyone under the age of 13 should have access to Twitch. And now, I'm, I'm saying this fairly confidently my um like my cousin he, he loves watching youtube I, i've got no, nothing wrong with the stuff that he watches because wow well, half of the stuff he watches because it is fine but there is some stuff that he watches that you're just like how the fuck can you watch that Like, there's all the light-hearted, like, innocent stuff that, that that's all fine. But, like, he's watching, like, old Jacksepticeye videos. You know, stuff that we used to watch when we were, like, 12. And whatnot. 800 years old VTubers on scene. VTubers are just cringe. I mean, yeah, we're all, we're all mentally five years old in some way, shape, or form. Let's be honest. I still play video games. Like, <laughs> Joe was really weird, right? Video games, like ten, fifteen years ago, were advertised very much towards teens and kids and they always have been they still are today but the difference is right if you go back 10 15 years ago if you were above the age of like 25 and you played video games you were seen as like a weirdo or you were seen as like that's a kid's thing now it's just so widespread video gaming just in general that you could be 40 60 70 it doesn't matter no one cares if you play video games. But you go back 10, 20 years ago. Right, I know video games sort of came around in the 80s anyways, but... Like, you go back 10, 15 years ago and it's like... Ga games are all... Um... For fucking kids. What are you doing playing kid stuff? Like, it's just weird. Old Jacksepticeye is good, but I prefer new Jacksepticeye. He's more chilled out and less loud. I, here's the thing. So, new Jacksepticeye is very much like woke Jacksepticeye. It, it's a tough one to say. But if, if you compare, like, comedy 10 years ago to comedy now, that's similar to what Jacksepticeye's done. He's become very much woke. It, it's a term I don't like using, but it, it's pretty much what everyone's turning towards because you know the internet is just so cancelable and I mean Jacksepticeye his living is basically online he, he there's a lot of things he can't say that he used to say like he, I'm surprised Jacksepticeye hasn't been cancelled for some of the stuff he said in older videos but uh, even then like his old stuff he was funny he did dumb shit he would play these video games, make comedy out of the video games. What the fuck happened there? Okay. Um. And yeah, stuff like uh, Markiplier and his fucking Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. That was brilliant. Honestly, Markiplier and Five Nights at Freddy's, that was the series on YouTube. Every time Five Nights at Freddy's came out. Happy Wheels for my, uh, Jacksepticeye, yeah. 
Like those kind of videos. Those are what we watch. I'm rewinding that. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's crazy. Apparently they're not actual nudes. Uh, I haven't subscribed to it. No, shut up. <laughs> but uh, I saw a um, Reddit thread, and basically everyone was like talking about it, like, and there were people that have subscribed, and they're like, they're tasteful nudes. And I'm like, what? What kind of nude is tasteful? <laughs> like. How can you have a tasteful nude? <laughs> Explain that to me. Because isn't the point... I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. But yeah, apparently there's no, uh, no, uh, gentleman's sausage <laughs> in it. Oh yeah, you made a video announcing it, but still. But the thing is, like, I have no problem with YouTubers, like, changing and adjusting. But at the same time, these YouTubers can't have a problem with me not enjoying the newer content because it's just not, not, not the same, but it's not as enjoyable. Like, Jacksepticeye went f for such a long period of just not being... Like, I understand he's getting older. You can't be a loud, shouty bastard for ages. But at the same time, it, he's basically changed. His content isn't the same. So, I don't know. Tasty nudes. <laughs> Shut up, Cotto. <laughs> Shut up, man. Hey, you 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 want to bring like I play games like shit. Remember, you play this game on easy. So. You want to attack me? I'll come after you. I'll be totally honest. Minecraft is the perfect video game example of just how bad and how downhill a game can get. Like, I'm a hater of live service games for the sole reason that they just rely on updates. Rather than making a good game, they're like, hmm, here's some fresh content. Enjoy that. It's different. And they very much rely on, like, a rotating cycle of different stuff rather than just, you know, making a good game with some good content from the start that you can enjoy. Um, yes, Kodo, but the difference is, right, you, you came and attacked me for the fact that I'm playing like this. <laughs> so it's fair game. And the fact is... You used to play on easy. I never did play on easy. So... You still played on easy. That doesn't exclude the fact that you played on easy. So... Every video doesn't have a rewind on it. No. It's just some of the faster ones have had more rewinds. Because these cars are very difficult to control. And the difference is you're playing Forza Motorsport 3 on a big TV. It's easy to see. You don't have eye problems. <laughs> I am currently playing it on a small monitor. I'm half blind. Literally. And I'm reading chat whilst trying to play a video game at the same time. Which is two very demanding things to do simultaneously. So... <laughs> I have handicaps on my side. And I can still play on medium. <laughs> I really can't be asked because that goes <laughs> it goes against what I've been saying for fucking ages. Like, <laughs> just play a game and have fun. Don't don't just shit on others. He started it. Yes. But that's the first rewind, and I didn't rewind for like 20 videos after that. Damn, this fucking... I, I'll be honest though, Silverstone is one of those tracks I hate. It is a terrible circuit. When you compare a lot of other racetracks, Silverstone is a bad circuit. Actually, I didn't hit the wall. 
Tag. Silverstone is a terrible circuit, though. Like, when it comes to Formula One, like, sure, it works for Formula One, but the, the track was designed for Formula One cars, I think. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Well, uh, like I say, Cotto, it doesn't matter what difficulty you play on, just fucking have fun and enjoy the game. It doesn't matter. It's kind of the point I was trying to make. <laughs> so, uh, cut that shit out. Um, but yeah, like... Best circuit is your local road close to home. When it's empty, you can send it and have fun. I don't think so. I think the closest track... Oh, actually, I've moved, so it doesn't matter. I don't actually know what the closest track is to Cardiff. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't mind. Like, car noises don't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. As long as I've got a house where there's, like, some, like, noise isolation. Then it doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's, it's at Nuremberg, isn't it? Or something like that. Borshaw MXC. Well, based on the fact that that says MXC, that's a motocross circuit. That's for dirt bikes. I don't ride dirt bikes. So, no. <laughs> that is not my closest racetrack. <laughs> Cardiff Racing. What? That's such a shit track name. No thanks, I'm not going racing at a place where it's like... No. You don't go to brand like fucking I, I don't know. Like the track is named after something. It's not just oh look, we're gonna go to the London circuit. And I don't know what tracks are in London. I don't actually know where many tracks are. That genuinely cannot be the name like Cardiff Racetrack. Be fucking dreadful as a name. Oh, <laughs> London Eye Circuit. You do one big circle. Do you know what I think would be pretty cool? A Ferris wheel where you can drive your car into it. You drive your car on, you go round. Right. And then you come back down and you drive back off. I think that would be pretty cool. Someone should do that. You're a bastard. You're a bastard. First and Furious Tokyo Drift. Oh, that'd be quite cool, actually. Car lift. I don't understand why we don't have, like, rotating car lifts like that. In the UK. 
Because let's be honest, there'd be a lot less, like, I don't know. Especially for, like, airports and, like, long distance stay. You could quite easily fit more cars in a car park if you used car lifts. You'd have a lot less hassle. And you wouldn't need the amount of fucking lights as well. Because you would literally only need light for, well... The one car that's just currently being dispensed by the vending machine. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. We have more car lifts in the UK. And you just, like... Uh, car, car vending machines just look awesome as well. <laughs> like, I swear, Tokyo is the town that the... Is, is it a town? No, it's a city. It's the city of vending machines. Everything is available as a vending machine. You've got drinks vending machines, you've got food vending machines, you've got sweets, you've got supplies, you've got fucking everything. Like, if you can think of it, it's probably been in a vendor machine in Tokyo. Guarantee. Yo, big boss, what up? How are you today? Like, guaranteed. Like, Tokyo have car vendor machines. Like, anything can be turned into a vending machine in Tokyo. Unreal. What's up? Experienced some hot hydraulic fluid splashing into my face when I was behind. Car at work. It's not fun to clean and fix. Yeah, I mean, oils and fluids and stuff like that from, like, vehicles. Not people. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> like, Car fluids and just stuff like that is just nasty. I think the only fluid that actually comes out of a car that is relatively fine is probably the windshield washer fluid. Coolant, nasty. Brake fluid, nasty. Oil, nasty. Fair enough, I'll have a look after this race. She planned on going to Japan in two, three years, to be honest. Me, Cyber, and the rest of the boys. Ah, there's no chance I'd be going. <laughs> Even two, three years now, from now, I'll probably still be broke, knowing me. I'd love to go to Japan, but the problem is, like, I am very much inexperienced with... Like, I, I love Japanese cars. I love the Japanese car culture and stuff like that. But... I don't know. I'm not a fan of anime. So it it feels like I wouldn't understand half of the culture. Because, like, let's be honest. Half of Japanese culture is just anime. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, uh, something tells me you're not supposed to drink engine oil, Hans. It's just a slight feeling. I don't know what it is, but something tells me you shouldn't be drinking fucking engine oil. For six weeks, three grand. It's not too bad. <laughs> it's going to need a lot of saving up, though, for that. Especially with this uh, cost of living crisis that we've got in the UK. Fuck me, honestly. Uh, our government in the UK is fucking diabolical. Like, you think, every, every other country is struggling with money. Don't get me wrong. But the UK just know how to fuck shit up so bad. Like, let, let's be honest. Tempted to move to America just for the fact that... Ooh, look! <laughs> My money actually is worth something here. I don't even know how long you have to have not lived in a country to unbecome a citizen? Like, how long do I have to move out of the UK to not be a UK citizen anymore? What the fuck? 
That's a stupid AI. Yeah, that's that's the one thing I don't get about America. Like, oh look, this drink is a dollar. Oh, this f food is a dollar. Mm. I'm gonna spend two dollars. Oh wait, but no, you've got to spend an extra 40 pence on tax. Sorry, 40 cents on tax. Like, well, why didn't you tell me that beforehand? Hey, you'll be obese in three days. I already am, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> You fat bastard! <laughs> I'll, I'll be totally honest, I don't... I, I probably would be. But... I mean, I, I, it's physically impossible, like, to move from the UK at the moment. Like, we're all pretty much trapped in a terrible economy. I don't want to get all political and shit, but yeah. Our entire country's fucked, pretty much. The one thing I find extremely baffling, right, is how... Because... Um, what's it called? The government are doing all this shit for, like, helping the cost of living. But the, we the weird part is, right, obviously minimum wage is going up apparently in April. It's going to go from like 9.50 to 10.40 something. Like it's going up a whole pound in April apparently. Which, I mean, it got explained. I was like, well, why are we increasing minimum wages? Why don't we just fucking bring down like taxes and shit for a bit? Or, like, stop companies being greedy money whores. And trying to, like, profit off of everything. But I had it explained to me and it does make sense. Because by bringing up the minimum wage, it actually does lower the price of everything for pretty much everyone. And the only people it doesn't really affect are the people that earn a lot more than minimum wage. So, eh, fuck them. They've been earning enough anyways. But... Um, what's it called? For some reason, the, the way that the British government dealt with coronavirus and the COVID outbreak just seemed so fucking backwards. Like, it, it, it just seems very confusing. Because, um... What is it? People pretty much that are on like benefits and shit like that are getting cost of living payments um which I mean is fair enough but isn't enough when you think before coronavirus people were getting what um 70 80 quid a week I think it was something like 70 quid a week and then during COVID, they were like, hmm, we're going to give you extra money. You're now locked inside your house. Um, so you don't need to travel anymore. There's no work. There's no nothing. We'll give you extra money. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes total sense. Um, but as soon as you then start having to go out and do stuff, uh, we're taking away that 20 quid. So, basically, people now are still getting 70 quid a week, but the backwards thing is, like, three years ago, that 70 quid was worth 70 quid. Now, that 70 quid is, feels like 20 quid. Because literally everything has pretty much doubled in price. Like, that's how ridiculous it's been over the last, like, two years. Like, if you were buying a bottle of squash, for example would have cost you something like a pound, a pound twenty a couple of years ago. And that felt like quite a bit. Now, ooh, look, this bottle of squash is two pound fifty. Like, everything's literally doubled in the UK. But wages haven't doubled. 
It's just crazy. <laughs> it's a very weird, weird thing. Oh yeah, chocolate bars in the fridge. Best thing in the world. <laughs> Hot ice cream and freeze chocolate. <laughs> That's brilliant. Ah, bollocks. I'll be totally honest though, like... In comparison, I, I genuinely, like... Yeah, we need to go to Tawny Owl again at some point. It means I've got to get a train into Swindon though. That's the problem. I'm in Cardiff. I'm literally in a different country. <laughs> I am in Wales. I'm not even in England anymore. Oh my god. I, w I would like... We really got to go out and just fucking get pissed. Ah, oh, you tit. I got my associates to sort you out. What the fuck? Oh, that's brilliant. My associates will sort you out. Great, it looks like I'm getting murdered. <laughs> 25 kilometers from Germany borders. That's not too far, actually, when you think about it. Short drive and you're in Germany and you can get yourself some nice bratwurst. <laughs> Good old German sausage. That sounds really bad. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm hating driving this car. Like, even the AI is struggling to control this car. Look at that. <laughs> Just climb the wall over the border. The fact is, ever since Donald Trump had become president and was like, we need to build a wall to keep the Mexicans out and all that. Like, everyone just assumes that borders are just massive fucking walls. Like, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't even have to go across, like, if you were to go, you could go anywhere in Germany near the border to fucking wherever and just walk across into a different country, no questions asked. Pretty much anywhere in Europe you could do that. Oh look, I'm in France. I'm gonna go for a walk to Spain. And just walk across the border. Honestly, um, Aldi. I I'm not sure whether it's Aldi or Lidl because they're basically the same store. They look the same, they work the same. They just have slightly different names. Um, but one of them sells bratwurst sausages for like two pound for six of them. And oh my god, they are the best sausages ever. Holy fuck. You cook, like, I could cook a whole pack and fucking eat the whole packet. Yeah, call me a fat bastard, but it's good food. You'd eat, you'd do the same if you had good food there. That's actually sick. But uh, yeah. Actually, did you know the Autobahn, although it's, um, there are sections of it that have no speed limit, um, there is actually a theoretical speed limit. Um, apparently someone went onto the Autobahn, went 250 miles an hour, and because that is deemed as an unsafe speed, they actually got into trouble for it. Um, seems a bit backwards, the fact that there's no speed limit, the guy was very safe, but... There is a theoretical limit. You just have to be safe on the autobahn. But the thing is, right, the people that are going to go faster on the autobahn are gen... Like, how often do you hear guy dies in Germany after crashing on the autobahn? Guy dies in fucking autobahn crash. You don't hear that much on the news. But how many times do you hear about Brits that are being limited to a really slow speed limit? Like, if I can guarantee you, if we had a road in the UK that had no speed limit, the people that were ballsy enough to go on it, right, would only be safe drivers. Or absolute idiots, but let's be honest, like... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, my point doesn't really work. 
But like when you when you do think about it, um, yeah, those pop up markets are fucking expensive at the moment. But yeah, um, like if we had that in the UK, the safer drivers, the ones that are comfortable with driving at a higher speed, will go on there. The people who are slow that normally cause the crashes on motorways wouldn't dare to go on the autobahn. Like, you know the the ones that drive at like 50 miles an hour on a motorway, which technically is legal, you're allowed to drive at a really slow speed on the motorway, even though it's fucking dangerous, it's legal. I, I think there should be, um, the police, like, properly shit on you if you speed. I think there should be the same thing if you're going under the speed limit. Like, you should get a 200, like, I don't even know what it is, but you should get points and a fine if you go 20 miles an hour under the speed limit on a 70 mile an hour road. Like, unless you have hazard lights on and are making yourself aware that you are a hazard on the road, you should get a fine. Like, lorries on the road, they're limited to 56 miles an hour. They go 50, but they're a big fucking lorry on the inside of the road, and they stick to the inside lane. I think anyone that drives a car and goes under the speed limit that dramatically should get punished as much as if you go 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. Because it's dangerous. How many fines have I got? None. I sped up my driving test, but I haven't got any. Because I haven't driven on my own yet. I, I kid you not, the last time I drove was my test. Haven't driven since. Don't have a car. Don't have insurance on someone else's car either. Don't really have the urge to drive right now, to be perfectly honest. Remind me not to get in a car with you ever. To be fair, I was a pretty safe driver. <laughs> I, um... The minors that I got was for hesitation. Um... Yeah, but the difference is when I'm driving on a road, I'm focused. This I'm using a fucking controller. If I was sat in a real car with a fucking controller, I'd probably be just a shit. Let's be honest. <laughs> No, but I'm actually a very safe driver when it comes to driving on the roads. Um, as long as I've got my glasses. If I don't have my glasses, it's like a fucking headless chicken. But, um, no, I got... The miners that I got were, like, stupid miners. Like, a lot of people get miners for, like, oh, you didn't look in a mirror, you didn't fucking indicate, or something like that. That's where a lot of miners happen. Mine were, like, stupid things that were, like, I stalled twice. And that was because of nerves. And I wasn't confident with, like, having some random stranger just fucking, Ooh, I'm marking you down on everything. And other than the fact that I went 33 in a 30, but because I noticed it straight away, he marked it as just... Um, control of speed rather than like actual straight up just oh he's speeding his ass off but yeah i'm a pretty safe driver actually so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out